All right, everyone, it is great to be in front of you and I hope you all are doing really well. I have a video that I wanted to put out in regards to um, converting my Vulcan ProTig 205 uh, over to a water-cooled system and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I just wasn't quite sure how I was going to approach it and I finally kind of made up my mind on how I want to do that and I wanted to bring you guys along because I figured there has got to be a lot of you guys out there that have kind of had that idea across their mind in regards to um, you know converting their their TIG welder over to water cooled simply for the fact that it is way more comfortable to use your consumables last longer and I think the it will affect because you're more comfortable while you're welding I think that the um, the like the overall appearance and the overall quality of your your TIG welds will greatly improve simply for the prior more the prior mentioned facts um, so anyways let me get you guys turned around and we'll you know I'll, I can't I'll kind of show you what I have uh, going on sorry I'm not a choke artist I promise um, I'll show you guys what I have going on and then um, this is just going to be an unboxing video of the Vever 25 liter TIG torch water cooler. Um, I opted for the larger one because I feel like if you just go, they have three different options. They have a 10 liter and a 12 liter and a 25 liter. I opted for the 25 liter simply for the option of it's it's scalable so if you get the smallest water cooler they make i feel like you're you're limiting yourself whereas if you get the biggest one they make you can not only can you do small jobs but you can also do very large jobs um it's it's scalable another thing too is out here in arizona during the summer months it's incredibly hot there have been cases where the overnight low has been 104. Um, and so just if I'm trying to keep anything cool, like I just, I don't want to take any chances. So I just opted for the larger unit. So I will put you guys in the stand and we'll open that thing up and we'll, we'll look at it. We'll check it out. Anyways, let me get you guys turned around and we'll check things out. All right, you guys, I hope this will kind of make sense to you guys. So anyways, this is how it comes um, in the box. Um, WS 25L 25 liters I'm assuming 110 volts um, anyways there you have it so let me get you guys in the stand and let's open this thing up and look at it and we'll go from there If you guys are curious about this knife, it's it's a Vespa Ripper. It's a, a pretty cool little knife. I think uh, it was about $200. Um, it's really cool. I enjoy it. You know it's good if it's illegal in California. All right. Looks like we have some male hose fittings and some hose clamps, a fuse, and some very vague, vague instructions. You know, the, the packaging looks, looks pretty decent. Wow, I will tell you that this thing is definitely big. But that, that, that's fine with it. We, I can always make accommodations for it. I know a good welder. All right, I'm, what I'm gonna do is set this on the ground and then I'll lift the actual cooler back onto the, the table here.
Looks like it also came with some additional hoses, you know, which is which is very thoughtful, very nice. They, they appear to be, you know, a decent quality. Let's take a closer look here. So, this is how it looks, you know, coming right out of the box. I like these quick connects, you know, marking your hot and your cold or your, your input and your return. Power switch. There's your, your radiator. All right. And then it looks like it has a big mouth opening here. So in theory, I think 25 liters is just a hair over six and a half gallons. Um, I think that should be plenty, like more several times more than plenty for what I'm going to be doing. Um, I have some Weldmark um, TIG torch cooler. It's uh, two to one, so that means it's two parts water to one part coolant. So you probably just need two bottles of that stuff to get you started in this case. Um, let's pull the cover off and just see what it looks like on the inside. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like on the inside. Very robust looking uh, radiator there. The fan looks really solid. The pump looks solid. And there is the real size of the reservoir. And I must say, um, pretty impressed. Pretty impressed, especially for the price. Uh, Thought, the idea occurred to me there's there's several videos on people that like try to build their own I I really appreciate the integrity and the ambition to do such a thing but by the time you order in the parts and you add up your time in the shop fabricating all the parts um, I think it is way cheaper just to um, just just to buy one I, I think this one here was just a hair over $300, um, it, which is, that's, uh, it's, I can't, especially if this thing, you know, works out really well, and I can't, that, that's, I'm perfectly fine with that price, even if it lasts me a solid year, I'm happy. So let me get you guys turned around and show you what, I, what I'm gonna be doing. All right, so the majority of my work that I do is I do a lot of stainless steel concrete finishing tools. Um, this is a tool for doing expansion joints and if you don't know what an expansion joint is, 
this is an expansion joint and so basically it just it goes like that and what they do is there's wings on it here so what they do is they'll set a form up and then they'll just run it like across their form just like that and that's how you get your expansion joint so I have a large order as you can see I've got most of the handles done but I have to weld them all together and I got this one here tacked and then after it's tacked I'll, I'll bend it all up and then I've got and then these are kind of my all my parts and pieces here um, anyways so I've been using this for about I think close to four years now it has been great but I, but I feel like air-cooled TIG welders you're just you're very very limited just because once things start heating up especially in the summertime here in Arizona things just they do not cool down like they should so I figured I figured it's about time to kind of take the plunge into the world of uh, water-cooled TIG torch so I will put out another video with all of the bits and pieces that I ordered to hopefully tie this all together and then we'll just go from there. All right, you guys, I think this is going to do it for this one. I hope you guys find this informative, especially if you have the Vulcan Pro Take 205 and you've been considering, um, you know, taking the route of going water cooled with it, uh, especially for larger jobs. If you could please like, comment and subscribe, that would be great. As always, be blessed and peace out.